So these defensive survival circuits are present in all mammals, mm -hmm. all vertebrates, and they're also present in invertebrates because they have to detect danger and respond to danger as well. So it's not just something that is in, uh, in mammals and related to cognition. The defensive survival circuitry is there to detect and respond to danger. So without the cognitive realm, and again, we don't know which, you know, whether bees and bugs and so forth have the, the cognitive realm. If they do, then they could construct some kind of semblance of what we're talking about here. So, but the, the ability to detect danger is not simply something that is present in animals. It's not just a neurobiological realm response. We can go to protozoa, the ancestors, the single cell ancestors of animals. Now protozoa have to detect danger and respond to danger as well. And even though they are one cell, they swim around in the, in the water or wherever they are living, and they, and they detect danger, they turn away from it. If they encounter nutrients, they keep going. They can even learn. They learn to avoid harmful things. Single cell. So learning and behavior have nothing to do with what we call psychology. They have nothing to do with what we call cognition and consciousness. Learning and behavior are ancient. They go into, they, they are present in single cells, including all the way back to the earliest animals, early, sorry, all the way back to the earliest organisms, yeah. bacteria. So you have Luca here, the first bacterial cell that was able to live long enough mm -hmm. to survive and then divide and give rise to the rest of all of life. Luca um, was able to detect and respond to danger and to approach nutrients uh, and stay alive long enough to uh, be able to divide and reproduce. Mm -hmm.